Hey, I'm JC Chong. I'm an entomologist at Clemson University. Chinch bugs is a very common lawn pest, particularly for the, for the St. Augustine grass in the south. This is one small insect, very, very small, and uh, they, the adult look black and white, and the immatures look either red or gray with a white stripe across the back. And the way that they, they do kind of damage is they actually sucks on the plant itself, kind of reduce their vigors, reduce their nutrients. Eventually the grass will kind of thin out and turn yellow, and then uh, if the infestation is very heavy, they also die. So there are a lot of different kind of chinch bug species in the world. St. Augustine grass is the most heavily impacted grass species for southern chinch bugs. So the chinch bugs typically become much more active starting in August, but in fact, they have been in the grass for a very, very long time. As soon as the grass green up, the population is starting to build up. But we don't see the problem or the damage until about August. The best treatment time for chinch bug is actually probably preventive. So even though the damage doesn't show up until August, but by the time damage showed up, it's already a little bit too late. So you want to do that before that. So my recommendation has always been late June, early July, that would be a good time to actually start a treatment program. But the best way to determine when is a good time to treat is looking at the chinch bug population. Chinch bug damage on St. Augustine grass, in fact, is one of the easier to identify symptoms. At first, you're gonna see a general yellowing of the turf. And then you're starting to see some little patches starting to die. And those patches just kind of expand over time. And while they're expanding, the edge of the, of the patch usually turn yellow first, and then the grass die, and then they're slowly expanding out. The most common method I use is actually cut four inch PVC pipe in a, into about six inches section, sharpen one edge, and then try to insert the sharpened edge into the grass for about two inches, and then pour tap water into the, ta uh, into the tube. Stir it around a little bit and then the chinch bug will float to the top along with a lot of different kind of debris. So you can tell how many chinch bugs you have in that particular area. Chinch bug damage is actually could be misidentified as something else. For example, too much sun. St. Augustine grass prefer to have a little bit of shade. So when there's too much sun, a lot of times they look a bit thinner. And also, St. Augustine grass is also suffer from a disease called a brown leaf spot. If you do not have chinch bugs, I would recommend that you collect some samples, take it to your local extension office, and have them sent off for diagnosis. It could be a disease, it could be nematode, it could be some other problem as well. Again, the best treatment strategy, I think, would be a preventive strategy. Um, that would be something that you do in uh, June, July. Some of the most effective insect insecticides that we have are bibenthrin, and you can apply them either as granular or spray onto the grass. So a few applications a year usually will keep the population pretty low. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but for a commercial situation, or if you prefer not to have to treat the problem yourself, you can always hire a landscape contractors to do a good job for you.